So let's start to look how we can show no data. So you can see here we have the data, but if I click on this, I remove all the data and we get now a background color with text, no data available. So let's start to look how we can display no data text if there is no data available in our chart. Well, first of all, to start with this, we need to make sure we get the border template, which you can find here on chartyes3.com, getting started this specific link, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this entire code and that's our starting code. Next, if you wanted the source code at the very end of this video, make sure you check out my Patreon uh, channel here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here. And what I want to do is, for, for example, imagine here, if I save this, refresh, we have like this only. And then I want to say a, we're going to give it here like a box of color and indicating no data available. All right. To do this, we need to create a plugin. So I'm going to create here a custom plugin. I'm going to say a plugin is a bracket. We can say here, no data. Copy this. And once we have this, I want to go up here and create our plugin block. Basically, no data plugin block constant. This equals uh, equals. Then I'm going to say ID no data, and then I'm going to say here. Uh, let's do this after data sets draw. So I want to check first if we have the data sets and then we can, once that is drawn, but there is no data set basically, so it will not draw anything at all. But we just put it like that. And then I'm going to say here, what I need is the three arguments, chart, args, and plugins. And then I'm going to say here a callback functionality like that to make sure we have here curly braces as well and the parentheses all right so now we're in here i'm going to do in uh object destructuring so if you're not familiar with object destructuring i have a video in the description box understanding charge yes object destructuring so i'm going to say here ctx and then what i want to do here i want to get the uh, data so we can check what we are if we have any data sets and next we're going to say a chart area and the chart area will be broken down into um, I think four of, well, let's get all six of them. So we're going to say top, bottom, left, right, width, height. Although well, I think we don't need them all, but just having them. All right, so once we have this, I'm going to say ctx.save to save all variables above. If you don't understand what chart area is, I'm going to recommend the video in the description box, understanding the chart area in chart.js. So now we have this. So what I want to do is basically, first of all, I want to have a block here of color that would basically make this gray so i'm going to gray this entire area so the first thing i'm going to say here uh ctx because i want to draw and then i'm going to say here fill style to indicate the color and i'm going to get the official color of chart here so it's rgba say 102 that's the gray color that we're going to use 102 102 and let's say 50 percent of transparency once we have this now we have the color. The next thing what I want to do is I want to create the rectangle covering the entire chart area. So what I'm going to say here, ctx dot fill rectangle. And I'm going to say here, basically this is the x coordinate, the y coordinate, the width and the height. So basically the x coordinate is the left starting point here. Then we have here the y, which would be the very top. And then we have here the width and the height that's just these two here as you can see here maybe the uh, the bottom and the right could be removed but that's all right so once i do this and save this you will see that we had now or we are expecting basically something but there's an error all right at number 91 so i just have to check here all right that's my bad you're not allowed to do that there of course save that refresh there you are so as you can see here now there's a item on top of the bars of course we don't want this but uh, the reason why it's on top by the way is because of this like before now the bars are in front however this doesn't matter because we'll make sure that we filter out because only when it's not shown or when there's no data in that case it will show this specific item so we have to do that later on so what i do want here is now to have text saying here in the very center no data available so what to do this i'm going to say ctx.font because we're going to create a font type, we're going to say bold. We want to have 20 pixels, so it's nice, bolded, and big. And then font family, it will be sans serif. 
Next, what I want to have is the color. I'm going to say CTX that fill style. And we're going to make the color just black, solid black. And finally, we're going to draw the text. Say so CTX that fill text. Then in here, we're going to put in whatever the text we want. Then we have here the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. Well, for this, all we need to do is we need to put it in the very center here. First of all, our text will be no data available. That's number one. And let's put in here, let's say 10 and 10. Save that, refresh. As you can see here, now we have that here. I want to push it to the center here. So how do we push this to the center? Remember that we have here the width and the height. So basically what we need is the width is from this point, or sorry, from here, the very starting point, all the way to the end here. So basically this width divide by two. However, look at here, there's some space here. This is the left side. So what we're going to do is we're going to say in here, first, I want to jump to the left. So let's save that, you will see this. All right, and now I want to have the width plus width divide by two. Save that, now there we are. You might say it's not really in the center, well, hold on, because we have the alignment not correct, but we'll do that later on. So the next thing here, we do the same logic, but now from the very top. So I need to push this now down. So I'm going to say yes, plus top. If I save that, refresh, there we are. And now push it here to the uh, center. So I'm going to say here, plus height divided by two. Save that, refresh. All right, so now we are basically, this is the center. And then here it goes alignment left. So what do I need to do here? adjust the alignment. So we're going to say a ctx dot text align and then we're going to say your equals center. Save, refresh, there we are. So now it works but of course what I want to make sure is that it should only show if we have no data. So for that we have this item here. First of all we need to know how, when do we know that there is no data. Basically the data here reflects the data at the very top, this constant or data object. And we can check here into data sets. Do we have any data sets uh, available? Yes or no. And if it does, then we will do nothing. If we have no data sets or if there's no data available, show this chunk of code. So first of all, let's do here console log so you understand how this will look like. So we're going to get here the data, which is basically the data object here data and then we can just go into data sets so let's say data dot data sets so if we do this refresh of course you see here the many loading because of the animation but you can see here right now there is a data set here there's one data set index zero so what i want to do is i want to say yeah, dot linked refresh you can see a value one so basically if we have more or if we have one or more or everything above zero then we have a value or a data set here else we don't have. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say if, and I'm going to put in this value here, if it is basically equal to zero, because you should not have a minus one in here. It doesn't, it's not possible. If it is equal to zero, we start to draw this. Else, we don't do anything. That's basically it. Save this. Refresh, all right. There we are. So now what I want to do is, and this is based on data sets. So not this. If you have the data only, it will still read that we have something. So all we have to do here is basically remove this entire data set item. Save. There we are. And as you can see here, what will happen, it will cover it all up. And of course the scale will change because of this. So that's basically it. If you want to only pinpoint maybe the data itself, possible. All you have to do here, we have to go here into data sets. Then we can say here, for example, the index number and then dot data dot length. And then you will probably get the same response here. Or, well, right now not, of course, because it doesn't read it. Let's do this. Then I'm going to say here data. Let's hide this. Uh, all right, I was expecting something. Hold on. Well, basically we were correct. I just only realized one thing. So we have this here and then we go down here, of course, we had here this if statement based on data sets. Of course, we need to change this, copy that. And then if you do this, save, refresh. Now you can see here if I will now show this again, save on data, there we are. And now it works nicely. So those are the two ways.